All right. Look at this beautiful girl as she takes off. This is a 2020 Stillwater Hypo Bullsnake. One of my favorites. I've got three of these. I got two girls and a boy. And they were produced, uh, all of them were produced by Jennifer Joseph, who's just got the most amazing colubrid collection. Um, all of my bull snakes have come from her. Actually, except for one. One was a wild caught that I bought at the Daytona Reptile Expo a couple years ago. But Jennifer has more snakes. I just, <laughs> I don't have the money or the room to buy what I would like to buy from her. I would literally like fill up an entire 26 foot U-Haul truck and just be happy. <laughs> She's got some amazing stuff. Um, I've gotten some beautiful uh, Red Bulls from her. Uh, they're currently brewmating. <clears throat> and um, I've got uh, some Kankakis. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Is it Kankaki or Kankaki? I don't know. I've heard it pronounced both ways. That's the locality from Illinois. Um, and then, of course, I've got the Stillwater Hypos. And all three um, look slightly different. This one's like staring at my phone. But um, this, uh, this girl will eat small frozen thawed rats. She'll eat ASFs. She pretty much eats anything that nobody else wants. <laughs> Which is... Yeah, not always the case. Oh, it looks like she did a poop. Lovely. Um, most of the time, all my snakes eat. But if somebody doesn't eat, you know this girl will, will definitely eat. All right. <clears throat> okay. Let's check out the other one. This is the boy. These guys have a real tremendous food response. They're super, super friendly. But... Um, Anybody who, uh, who keeps bull snakes will know that um, they're great eaters and uh, they just go right after the rat or mouse or whatever it is you give them. Um, this girl's, are you afraid of the camera? I don't usually film her or, or him. Um, he's, he's going back into his little hide box. But you can see the difference. I think you can see the difference. This one's kind of got a rougher coloration, more dramatic. This one's a little bit more um, hypo. And <clears throat> the other girl, let's see if I can move my stuff out of the way here. I'm recovering from a horrendous cold. No, it was not the, not the dreaded Rona, but it has, uh, it has kind of kicked my butt, but I'm almost through it. <clears throat> So I, oh shit, <laughs> like I said, these guys have a tremendous feeding response. Sorry about the curse word. Maybe I'll have to bleep that out. Um, this one, little, uh, you know, somewhere between the first one and the second one. They all are a little bit different looking. Um, and I have to check my records, but uh, I think all three of these are possible het white side Possible head albino, possible head exanthic. They've got a lot of a lot of good genes in them. Um, this one just should too. Um, but I pretty much didn't get them for 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 anything that they were het for. I just like the looks of the Stillwater hypo, so I really could care less. Um, of course, when I breed um, breed these guys, might be might be uh, spring of two thousand twenty three at this point. Wouldn't that be something? Um, they got the size. They're only getting bigger. Um, but we'll see what we get. But, you know, once again, all these came from Jennifer. You can, you should, I think you can find her on Morph Market. Um, if anybody wants her contact info, I will be happy to, to give that to you. So, but uh, I kind of don't want to because I don't like telling people about her because then there's less, less snakes for me. And there's competition. No, just kidding. Um, I wanted to buy a whole heck of a lot more from her this past year. 
and because of the ball python purchases um, I could not buy what I wanted to buy from her but I am happy with what I have um, so anyway I'll if anybody's interested in her information um, she's out of Ukiah and you can find her on a lot of the uh, the Colubrid forums, but just, she's got, oh gosh, she's got just an amazing collection of, uh, of bull snakes. What are you doing? You already ate. You already ate. <laughs> Anxious to see this video back. I opened up that tub and she came lurching out at me. But that's what they do. I take them out a lot, so it's not like they, every time the the cage opens, or the tub opens, rather. It's not like every time the tub opens, they think food, but um, they're just super, super hungry, 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 hungry snakes, always. Um, let's take a look at the 220 girl. This is a 2020 Kankakee. She shed recently. Beautiful. And this is a Jennifer Joseph uh, product. And her boyfriend, who's a year older than her, so 19, I call this guy Witch Doctor because of the shape of his head. He's got a shape on the back of his head that looks like one of those Witch Doctor, uh, like the Witch Doctor shields or whatever, or the headdresses. But she's really catching up to him. She's a year under him. Um, I had a pair of these, including him. And when I did a move, I lost one of them. It was heartbreaking. If you are ever moving... Um, colubrids and you're moving them in the summer and you're in say a u-haul or like you know a penske truck something like that do not put them on the floor of the cab because the heat that will rise up from the road these guys just can't take the heat and that's exactly what happened so from now on whenever i transport these guys anywhere i will use and have used since um, a regular, you know, a snake bag with an insulated cardboard snake, you know, the same kind of box that you ship a snake with in, you know, with the cardboard, cardboard box with the styrofoam liner, um, maybe even a cryo pack. But, um, yeah, stupid me. That was, the, that was the biggest mistake I've ever made, and I still kick myself for it. Um, I had all my snakes on the floor of a Penske truck. Um, and it had the rubberized floor, so I had them in snake bags, and it got too hot for, uh, for that Kankakee Colubrid, and, uh, killed it. So, yeah, that was the dumbest thing I've ever done. Um, I've moved snakes great distances in the past, and I've always used boxes, um, but I was, uh, I was dumb, and, uh, a poor snake had to pay for my stupidity so be careful when it comes to these colubrids there they they just don't do well in high high temps so um just a word of warning there but anyway um these guys are let's see if i can get them both in the same oops same picture holy smokes yeah so there's your 2020 i'm sorry there's your 2019 here's your 2020 it's almost like they've They've had a roll reversal. She is catching up to him. Holy moly. That is crazy. But yeah, that's the witch doctor you can see. If you look at it this way, it kind of looks like a witch doctor. I think it's no matter how you look at it. Oh, relax. You're fine. But anyway, these guys will be paired up. And I'll get some, some nice babies out of that. So... Anyway, more Jennifer Joseph stuff. Jennifer, I need to like win the lottery so I can buy more of your snakes because they're so amazing. It's not that they're expensive. I just want so many of them and I can't have as many as I want. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for checking in and we'll talk to you soon.